Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong math tutorial videos. In this video, we will find the equation of quadratic function given a table of values. Example number 1, determine the equation of the quadratic function represented by the table of values below. So step number one, choose three ordered pairs from the table and use this as the values of x and y in the equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So ito class yung aking mga napiling ordered pairs. So negative 1 and negative 5, 0 and negative 4, 1 and negative 5. Sa pagpili class ng ordered pairs, mas magandang piliin natin yung pinakang mababa para mas madali natin isolve, lalo na class, yung merong 0 sa value ng x. Katulad nung 0 and negative 4. Mas mabilis kasi natin masosolve dahil makukuha agad natin class ang isang value. So simulan na natin class sa negative 1 and negative 5. Substitute natin sa general form, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Wag lang natin class kalimutan maglagay ng open and close parenthesis para hindi tayo malito sa sign, lalo na kapag merong negative sign. So dito, pinalitan lang natin class yung y ng negative 5. Tapos yung dalawang x sa general form, pinalitan naman natin ng negative 1. Then, bring down natin class yung ating negative 5. And a times the quantity of negative 1 raised to the second power. So, unahin natin class isolve yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. Kaya magiging negative 1 or the quantity of negative 1 raised to the second power is equal to positive 1. And positive 1 times a is equal to a. Tapos, b times the quantity of negative 1 is equal to negative b or minus b. Then, bring down natin class c. So, negative 5 is equal to a minus b plus c. Ito class yung ating magiging equation number 1. Next, 0 and negative 4. So, negative 4 is equal to a times the quantity of 0 raised to the second power plus b times the quantity of 0 plus c. So, bring down lang uli natin class dito sa ating negative 4. Then, a times the quantity of 0 raised to the second power is equal to 0. b times the quantity of 0 is equal to 0. Then, bring down C. So, magkakaroon tayo class na negative 4 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus C or C is equal to negative 4. So, ito class yung sinasabi ko kanina na kapag may 0 sa value ng X, makukuha agad natin yung value ng C. So, C is equal to negative 4 at ito class ang ating magiging equation number 2. Solve naman natin class yung 1 and negative 5. Negative 5 is equal to a times the quantity of 1 raised to the second power plus b times 1 plus c. So bring down lang uli natin yung negative 5. Then a times the quantity of 1 raised to the second power is equal to a. b times the quantity of 1 is equal to b. Then bring down C. Negative 5 is equal to A plus B plus C is our equation number 3. Again class, equation 1, negative 5 is equal to A minus B plus C. Equation 2, C is equal to negative 4. 
equation 3, negative 5 is equal to A plus B plus C. Ngayon naman class, kailangan nating mamili ng dalawang equation na kapag in or sin ay mayroong ma-eliminate na value, alinman sa A, B, and C. Ibig sabihin class, kapag in natin, dapat merong 0 pairs. Or kapag sin naman, ay merong mag-equal sa 0. Example, yung equation 1 at equation 3. Kapag in natin, ma-eliminate yung B kasi negative B plus B is equal to 0. Pero kung iso-subtract natin, dalawa agad class yung maaalis natin. Kaya naman, ang gagawin natin, equation 1 minus equation 3. Negative 5 minus negative 5 is equal to 0. A minus A is equal to 0. Negative B minus B is equal to negative 2B or minus 2B. C minus C is equal to 0. Then, 0 is equal to negative 2B. Tapos, apply lang natin class yung division property of equality. Divide both sides by negative 2. So, magiging B is equal to 0. And this is our equation number 4. Kapag nakuha na natin ang dalawang value, pwede na natin i-substitute sa equation 1 or equation 3. Mamimili ka na lang kung saan mas madali. And since mas madali sa equation 3, dahil puro positive class yung A, B, and C, equation 3 yung gagamitin natin para less yung chance na magkamali. So, substitute the value of B and C in equation 3 and solve for A. Yung equation 3 natin class is negative 5 is equal to A plus B plus C. So, magiging negative 5 is equal to A plus the quantity of 0 plus the quantity of negative 4. Then, simplify natin, magiging negative 5 is equal to A minus 4. Pagkatapos, gagamitan natin class ng addition property of equality, add both sides by 4, so magiging A is equal to negative 1. So, nakompleto na natin class ang value ng A, B, and C. Substitute na lang natin ito sa general form or standard form. So, the quadratic function is y is equal to negative x squared minus 4. Next, example number 2, determine the equation of the quadratic function represented by the table of values below. So, ganun ulit class, mamimili lang tayo ng tatlong ordered pairs. Piliin lang ulit natin yung mabababang ordered pairs. Pero this time class, walang zero sa value ng x, kaya mas magiging mahaba yung pag-solve natin dito. Yung napili ko, negative 1 and negative 5. 1 and 3, and 2 and 1. So, solve na natin class yung negative 1 and negative 5. Pero kung matatandaan, ganito din class yung isa sa mga ordered pairs na nakuha natin kanina. Kaya naman, ganun uli yung ating magiging equation number 1. So, bring down natin yung negative 5. A times the quantity of negative 1 raised to the second power is equal to A. Tapos, minus B and plus C. So, again class, equation number 1 natin is negative 5 is equal to A minus B plus C. Next, 1 and 3. 3 is equal to A times the quantity of 1 raised to the second power plus B times the quantity of 1 plus C. Bring down natin yung 3. Then, A times the quantity of 1 raised to the second power is equal to A. B times 1 is equal to positive B. Then bring down C. So 3 is equal to A plus B plus C. Ito naman yung ating equation number 2. Next, para naman class sa 2 and 1, 1 is equal to A times the quantity of 2 raised to the second power plus B times the quantity of 2 plus C. So bring down natin yung 1. Next is A times the quantity of 2 raised to the second power 
So, 2 raised to the second power is equal to 4 times a is equal to 4a. b times 2 is equal to 2b. Then, bring down c. So, para naman class, sa ating equation number 3, 1 is equal to 4a plus 2b plus c. Ngayong nakompleto natin class yung ating tatlong equation, mamimili ulit tayo ng equations na pwede nating i-add or i-subtract. At kung mapapansin nyo yung equation 1 and equation 2, parang katulad kanina na kapag inad ay maaalis ang B, pero kapag sinubtract naman ay maaalis yung ating A and C. Kaya naman, subtraction ulit yung gagawin natin. Equation 1 minus equation 2. Pero kung sakali lang class na wala kayong makitang equation na merong equal sa 0, pwede nyong i-multiply ang isa sa mga equation para makabuo ng panibagong equation na pwede nating ipares sa ibang equation. So, proceed tayo class. Equation 1 minus equation 2. Negative 5 minus 3 is equal to negative 8. A minus A is equal to 0. Negative B minus B is equal to negative 2B or minus 2B. C minus C is equal to 0. Then simplify natin. Negative 8 is equal to negative 2B. And then gamitan natin class ng division property of equality. Divide both sides by negative 2. So, B is equal to 4. So, ito po ang ating magiging equation number 4. And since isa pa lang yung value na nakakuha natin, kailangan ulit natin mag-add or mag-subtract ng dalawang equation na may ma-eliminate na isa o dalawang value. Pero syempre, nagamit na natin sa equation 1 kay equation 2. So, pwede natin itry class equation 1 kay equation 3 or sa equation 2 kay equation 3. At kung mapapansin nyo, pwede natin isubtract class alid man sa equation 1 at equation 2 kay equation 3. Pero syempre, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, piliin natin yung puro positive para less ang chance na magkamali. Kaya ang gagawin natin class, equation 3 minus equation 2 to eliminate C. So, 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 2. 4a minus a is equal to 3a. 2b minus b is equal to b. And c minus c is equal to 0. Or, negative 2 is equal to 3a plus b. So, ito naman class yung ating magiging equation Number 5. At dahil dalawa na lang class ang variable sa equation 5, pwede na natin i-substitute dito yung value ng B para makuha natin yung value ng A. So, negative 2 is equal to 3A plus B. So, magiging negative 2 is equal to 3A plus the quantity of 4. Then, simplify po natin. Magiging negative 6 is equal to 3A. So, kaya po naging negative 6 is equal to 3a, ginamitan natin class ng subtraction property of equality. Nag-subtract tayo both sides by 4. And then after that, apply naman natin class yung division property of equality. Divide natin both sides by 3. So, magiging a is equal to negative 2. At ngayong nakuha na natin class yung dalawang value, pwede na natin tong i-substitute alinman sa tatlong equation para makuha ang value ng C. So, pipili na lang tayo ng pinakamadaling equation. So, ang pipiliin ko dito class yung equation number 2. So, 3 is equal to A plus B plus C. So, substitute natin yung value ng A and B. Kaya magkakaroon tayo class ng 3 is equal to the quantity of negative 2 plus 4 plus C. So, kung isisimplify natin, magiging 3 is equal to 2 plus C. Tapos, gamit tayo class ng subtraction property of equality, subtract both sides by 2. So, magiging C is equal to 1. And for our last step, substitute the value of A 
B and C to our general form or standard form. The quadratic function is y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. So hanggang dito na lang class, kung meron po kayong katanungan, ilagay lang sa ating comment section. At kung nagustuhan mo naman ang video na ito, huwag pong kalimutang mag-like, subscribe at share. Muli, maraming salamat sa panonood. God bless.